Hello, what's up guys? I'm Kyle from KGR, and we are going into November. Holy crap, 2017 is just about over. With that being said, we're hitting the holiday season, so fuck yeah, Christmas. I love Christmas. So, as I said, we're getting into the holiday season, so that means there's a lot of things coming out at once. With that being said, it's making my wallet cry. So, I went shopping. A lot. So it's time for me to show off everything that I picked up. And if you like monthly pickups, subscribe if you're new, which I doubt anybody new is going to watch these videos. But anyway, subscribe because every month I do these and I like to show off everything I got because I spend money, I have a camera, let's put it on YouTube. So let's get into the pickups. Now I haven't really bought t-shirts in a while, mainly because I just wear black v-necks now, but sometimes I like to look at game shirts or cartoon shirts from Hot Topic, but a lot of the times it's there's nothing there that I really want. Mainly, I don't know if it's because I'm like growing out of it or something, or maybe they just have terrible stock or something, like it doesn't hit my personal taste. But I was on our website like about a month ago or so, and I was looking around and I'm like, you know what, these shirts look really cool. And I got really excited, and I saw a few that made me scream. So with that being said, when they got in stock, I bought them. Now, for those of you who've watched my channel for a couple of years, you should know I have a Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends shirt. With that being said, I don't wear that shirt much anymore, at least not on video, because I just wear black v-necks now. But I love that shirt because people love that show. So almost every time, like probably about 90% of the time that I wear that shirt, I get a compliment about the shirt. So with that being said, if for some reason you find that shirt, uh, pick it up because if you're trying to get yourself a girlfriend or something or you're trying to get yourself to talk to people, get that shirt. I went to a party once and I was wearing that shirt and I had some complete strangers come up to me and I started talking and I was talking to this one girl for a while. But she had a boyfriend so nothing really went anywhere. So that sucked but still it's a good conversation starter. With that being said, don't always wear Mario and Sonic shirts. Get something more unique. And don't wear Minecraft, for the love of God, please. Anyway, so some shirts that are nerdy can be very appealing. And this shirt is no exception. I love Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. I love Cartoon Network. So I got myself an Ed and Nettie shirt, motherfuckers. Now here Hot Topic actually has quite a few Ed and Nettie shirts, but this is the one that appealed to me the most, mainly because I like black or gray. But this also has like the full cast on it. But my favorite character on this shirt is Plank. Fuck yeah, Plank. But here's the thing, this shirt is mostly polyester. And here I tried on two different sizes. Because I ordered one for my friend uh, Ethan as well. I got a large, he got a medium. I tried on this one, it was too big. I try on the medium, it's too small. And since it's mostly polyester, and there's only a tiny bit of cotton in there, it's not going to shrink all that much. So I haven't tried on the shirt since I washed it. So, with that being said, I don't know if I'm ever going to wear this. Ever. I hope that it shrunk a little bit. Because this, this shirt does look awfully big. But, like, if it doesn't shrink, I'm going to be sad. Because I'm very picky on how my shirts fit me. Because if you've seen some of my older videos, you can see how baggy shirts used to be on me. I don't want to go back to that. With that being said, I don't want them being super tight. Because I don't want them to show off. Like, all the fatness I still have inside me. I'm still fat. A lot of you are probably going to say, Kyle, you're not fat. Trust me, I am. I got boobs. I got rolls. I got muffin tops. Yeah, and that netty shirt. It's fucking rad. One day I'll try it on. I don't know when. But I also got another shirt. And this one's actually related to video games. I haven't picked up a video game shirt in forever. I think the last gamer shirt that I got was probably... Kingdom Hearts? No, no, no. It was Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, I got a Crash Bandicoot shirt. Because... Crash Bandicoot. I, I can't just pass that up. But anyway, um, got a new shirt and it's PlayStation because, I don't know, uh, classics. Ladies and gentlemen, fucking Parappa the Rapper. Now, if you haven't heard of Parappa the Rapper, here you can actually go on the PlayStation Store right now on PS4 and pick up the remastered version of this game and there is a demo for it. In fact, the demo that they have on the PlayStation Store right now is actually the exact same demo that I played when I was younger on the original PlayStation. And with that being said, I played that song a lot. So my mom knows Edda and Nettie and loves Plank. And so my mom knows these characters. If mom sees these characters or if I say Parappa the Rapper, she will sing the song that these guys sing. It is the greatest thing ever. I fucking love it. So I wore it once at uh, my job, at my game stand, and a few people have recognized the character. And I'm like, fuck yeah. In fact, a few of them being girls. So fuck yeah. I honestly was quite shocked that people actually recognized who this was because it's not a very 
on an iconic character. It's, it's a classic character, don't get me wrong, but like, you can't just go up to a casual person and say, do you know who Parappa the Rapper is? Everyone knows Sonic, everyone knows Mario. Most people know Crash Bandicoot, but not everybody's gonna know Parappa the Rapper. Fuck yeah, I got Parappa the Rapper. And I also got this sweatshirt. Now here's the thing, I am normally not fond of sweatshirts. I, I just hate them for some reason. But this one goes with me so well because the burgundy on this matches my beanie. And I just think it looks really good on me, so I picked it up. And I love it. I also picked up some Amiibos because... Fuck yeah! Actually, I bought a lot of Amiibos this month. Holy shit. <laughs> but first, let's talk about this one right here. And that is the Goomba. The very blurry Goomba. Now, this guy right here. I mean, he's very cartoonish. So, he's not that sexy looking. He's very simple to do. But man, it's Goomba. <laughs> then we also got a Koopa Troopa. He's actually looking really good. I'm not going to lie. But here's the thing. I have SH figure arts for both Koopa and and the Goomba, so those ones honestly look better than this, but these still look really great, don't get me wrong. And I also picked up this game, I was streaming it for a few days until I got Mario Odyssey. Spoiler alert, I got Mario Odyssey. And that is South Park the Fractured But Whole. I played Stick of Truth and I had an amazing time with that, so I was super excited for this game. Unfortunately, the gameplay does feel completely different compared to Stick of Truth. So it was a weird adjustment on trying to get used to this gameplay, but now I'm completely used to it and I freaking love it. And I'm still not too far into the game. I'm only like, I don't know how many hours into the game and I'm excited to like, go through this game. It looks fantastic. The only gripe I have about this besides the fact that the gameplay changed is the fact that like, it doesn't really give you much like story, like what it tells you need to do. Like there's an episode of South Park they actually just put out that's technically supposed to be a prequel to this game, which honestly they shouldn't even have done that. They should have just had that episode in here whether it be a giant cutscene or just be part of the story because if you just jump into this game just directly it's gonna be like Final Fantasy 15 where like it's not gonna make too much sense but even if you don't watch that episode you're still gonna enjoy this game because the humor is still great the gameplay is fantastic the controversy is out the ass of course because it's South Park so yes I recommend this game it also comes with a free copy of Stick of Truth so if you haven't played that you can play that too but I already have it for PS3, so I just gave this to a friend. And of course, you have a little game buddy. You get fucking Tally. Yeah, fucking Tally. Woo! Now, this, in my opinion, is the best pickup that I've gotten all month. But that's just because of a personal bias. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I got myself a sexy piece of art right here. I got the PVC First Four Figures Crash Bandicoot statue. Now, Crash, he's... He's very special to me. In fact, I love Crash more than life itself. Like, he is just, he's just marvelous. So when they announced the statue, of course, I got very excited. Then I also found out that First Four Figures is doing an exclusive version. What's the difference? Besides the number in the box and coming with an extra card, nothing at all. But it's numbered on the bottom. There's only 1,450 of these exclusive edition worldwide. And I got number 262. I like the little crash logo they have on the bottom as well, but here's the thing, even though there's only 1,450 of the quote exclusive edition, you can still pick up this statue. I know Best Buy has it on their website, and I know you can get these on eBay right now. Like, eBay is flooded with Crash Bandicoot merchandise right now, but it's mostly either these or the pop figures. You will find the retro figures as well, but like, it's like these and the pop figures are flooding the market right now. So if you're trying to go for retro figures like from Mersaurus, it's going to become a big nightmare really soon because Crash is coming back so there's going to be a lot of merchandise which has me excited but if I'm trying to, if I'm going to try to go over the retro stuff it's not going to be an easy time. It's already hard enough. So this sits proudly on my giant shelf up there which you probably saw in my room tour. I think actually I'm not sure if I know. I didn't I don't think I had this uh, during the room tour. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty confident I didn't. But uh, it's up on my shelf now with uh, my new like giant figures and stuff so now i have two crash bandicoots sitting up there i got this in the bobblehead and holy fuck crash God, i fucking love it <laughs> every time i look at this up on my shelf i fall in love with it every time guys okay you can probably get them on ebay the cheapest 60 dollars. 60 dollars, absolutely worth it i paid 105 for this because of shipping and being exclusive and stuff is it worth that probably not and if it was probably like the first 100 or so or maybe first 50 then sure but no like no. And the bottom of it says Crash Bandicoot Crash, like right here. So with that being said, they could make more of these, which honestly, I kind of doubt they will. Holy fuck, I'm out of focus. So with that being said, they probably will make more. Like, I don't know. Honestly, probably not. But 
There's a possibility. But they're also making resin statues. This is PVC, they're making giant resin statues. Those are gonna be like $300 a piece. I don't have money or space for them, so I don't know, we'll see what happens. They already confirmed they're making Crash. They have shown off the Aku Aku, and now, uh, like the I think the one guy that works there, Alex or something like that, he's saying, okay, who wants a, a Dr. Neo Cortex to go alongside Crash? And everyone's excited, so chances are we're probably gonna get Cortex too. I'll have space, I'll have money, God damn it, rip me. If you see my room tours, you will know that I'm pretty much a man child. Now, after I show you this, this is not gonna help me at all. But hear me out on this one. When I was younger, with that being said, when I was going into high school, for some reason, I fell in love with Ben 10, but very late into it. It was like after the original series was just about to end. But here I saw the watch at Toys R Us or Walmart or something and I saw the original watch and I'm like, you know what, this is a really cool looking watch because I was obsessed with watches back then. So I picked it up and then I started to slowly get into the show. But by the time I got into it, Alien Force was becoming a thing. So with that being said, Alien Force tried to really grow up with the series, like it's trying to be more serious because they're in their teenage years. There's still a little bit of humor in there, but it's not like like the original show. So with that being said, I really liked Alien Force because I was in high school, like I was able to like relate better with this but they made live action movies and i got excited i watched them and i did enjoy them how well did they age since i've watched them probably not well but here there's this one guy that comes into our stand and he tries to trade in a bunch of like cds dvds and crap games so with that being said we give him little to nothing not to rip him off it's just they don't really go for anything so he traded in a bunch of stuff and i saw this and i'm like okay this is something that i personally want myself we probably would have given him like probably anywhere from 10 to 25 cents for this i gave him a dollar because it was the last dollar i had in my wallet and it is a ben 10 dvd set now i only got it because of the live action movies i'm probably never gonna watch it but like the only way i had it was me recording it on tape yeah with a vcr like a cassette so the quality was absolute ass so if for some reason i want to watch it again i either gotta watch it online illegally or I can watch this now! Again, chances are I'm probably not gonna watch this again. If I do, I'm probably gonna watch the Alien Swarm one because that's like more mature to an extent. Fucking Cartoon Network live action movie. What the fuck am I saying? But anyway, I got nostalgic for this, so I picked it up. I'm like, dude, I will give you a dollar for this. It's my last dollar. So, like, this is what I'm offering you. Like, out of, the, out of this giant shit he had, like, we only gave him like seven dollars. And it really sucks, but I got this now, so fuck yeah. With that being said, uh, here, yeah, our stand also sells movies, so we got this in, and I got really excited because I love Chris Farley, so we got Chris Farley, Saturday Night Live, and oh my god, this is gonna be great. I didn't watch it yet, but I used to love SNL, and I loved Chris Farley back in the day, so I'm excited to watch this. I haven't watched it yet, though, and we only had it for a dollar, and here, I already gave that guy my last dollar for that DVD over there. So I um, went up to my mom, cause she also works at the flea market. Uh, so I went up to her and I'm like, mom, you need to give me a dollar so I can get this for us. So she bought this for me. So shout out to mom for being fucking rad. We're probably never gonna watch this. <laughs> we never have time to watch movies anymore. And when we do, we just fall asleep. Like we're, like, we're getting old. We're getting sick of this shit. Now, thanks to a few donations to some, to some of you guys out there. I was able to pick up Fire Emblem Warriors! Unfortunately, because of so many other games coming out right now, and the time constraints because of my work and stuff, I haven't had time to play this yet! It's on the home menu! I redeemed the 10 or 12 coins that you get from my Nintendo, but one day I will play this. I don't know when, but I'm excited because I loved Hyrule Warriors, and when I picked that up, I wasn't even a Dynasty Warriors fan, I wasn't even a Zelda fan all that much, but I picked it up because it looked interesting and I fell in love with it, so this is going to play a lot like it, so I'm excited. And of course, the game came out with Amiibos, but unfortunately I only picked up one, and that is my boy Krom. And again, I'm not really much of a Fire Emblem guy, but this looked really awesome. Like, I, he looks like a cool character, and I have a feeling that if I play the uh, Fire Emblem Warriors, I'm going to fall in love with this character, so I'm going to want to have this Amiibo. I didn't open him yet though, I may open him, I don't know. You get a special sword whenever you do use him, so maybe I'll open it, I don't know, we'll see. I would have a feeling like if he got popular, like he would sell out, so I'm happy that I picked him up. Now this one, this was honestly a miracle, because there was no way I was going to be able to get this guy. Now here 
Zelda amiibos, they're getting very valuable right now because of Breath of the Wild. So now I'm trying to go for a complete set because I already have most of them and I'm only missing a few more. So when I went to pick up Mario Odyssey at Best Buy here, uh, they had a table set up at midnight launch and I saw a bunch of things. I'm just passing by, I'm like, oh, I don't need all this stuff. But then I come across this and I'm like, whoa! I need it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves the Majora's Mask Link. Yeah, Best Buy finally restocked them, so call them, see if they have it. Like, if anything, go on their website and find a SKU number, and then ask them if they have that SKU number, because so it's easier for them. And if they have it, then please pick it up, because it's a cool looking amiibo, and since I have Gamers Club unlocked, I was able to get this for like $11 and maybe a penny or two. So yes, uh, I got this amiibo, and it looks great. And now I'm only missing the 8-bit link, which I hear is getting a restock soon enough because like there's some report where it was reporting on this and 8-bit link possibly getting a restock. And the Toon Link in Zelda. And I already have the champions on pre-order. So after that, the whole Zelda collection is complete. So I'm I'm close. I'm really close. And the only one I actually paid a scalper price for was the Ocarina of Time link. Uh, because I technically got ripped off because there's a whole ordeal behind the scenes about that. But uh, I was trying to make a trade with some guy and things went wrong and whatever. And so essentially, yeah, I got ripped off. But anyway, I almost have the complete set now. So I was mentioning earlier, yes, I have Mario Odyssey and oh my god, I fucking love this game. Do I love it more than 64 though? Probably not because 64 is just nostalgia to me. But this game is fantastic. It's, in my opinion, much better than Odyssey. Odyssey does have a better soundtrack, but... This is still a fantastic game because I don't I didn't really like the topsy turvy stuff in Odyssey. I didn't like the motion controls and stuff. But this game, oh my god, fan freaking tastic. If you haven't bought it already, please do so. It's it's good. You can buy a bundle with the Switch now to get this game too, and you get a case and just get it, please. So with that being said, uh, amiibos came for that as well, and. The way these outfits are, it reminds me of this is something that I'm probably never going to do in my life. Uh, a lot of people tell me not to do it, and I honestly don't think I'm going to be able to because no one loves me. And that is the wedding outfit! <laughs> We're going to get some close-ups on all these guys because some of them just look fan-freaking-tastic. You can zoom, zoom in on my face. Mm. Anyway, let's take a look at Mario. Oh my god. Now, Mario, he is a classy looking motherfucker right here oh my god i remember i was showing mom and i was showing some friends these amiibos and they're like oh my god mario looks so cool and cute and i'm like fuck yeah like look at him he's a freaking classy looking motherfucker right here and then we have peach which i honestly didn't notice until now but like the sparkles on her dress i didn't notice that and that's like inside the plastic itself so like i love the way that looks that looks so freaking good but the guy who has the absolute most swag, if that's even still a word that people use today, I doubt it because I'm 24, I'm getting old, I don't know what's hip anymore. Not even the word hip is hip anymore. So anyway, um, Bowser, look at that sexy motherfucker. The purple is like my favorite thing on this amiibo, no lie. He does look really great, don't get me wrong, but that purple is like the eye catcher to me. Which to be honest, I didn't notice it until like, much later after I got it, but man, he is, he's rocking it. And the best part is, in the game, when you scan him, you can have Mario rock this outfit. Or for some reason, you want him to freaking be a cross-dresser, by all means. Nintendo doesn't want to be controversy, but they have him in a wedding outfit and in boxers. And apparently, if he's wearing a sombrero, oh man, that's racist. The fuck? I should probably get away from the camera, I'm really close. But wait, there's one more thing I want to show you. Since I got my stuff at Best Buy, here when you pre-order from there, you got a special coin. Which by the way, if you go to Best Buy, which a lot of you probably don't, but get Gamers Club Unlocked, it's only $30 for two years, and you get 20% off new games. So that's end up being like $10 off. Plus you get rewards, so you end up getting like gift cards to put toward the games again. It also works on Amiibos, so you can get a... $13 amiibo for a little over $11 or you can get a 16 or $17 Zelda amiibo for less than 15 you end up get, yeah, getting like, like, like $13.50 around there somewhere around that area. The point is you save a lot of money so anyway I got this coin 
camera has a hard time focusing on it because it's like so reflective and shit. So anyway, yeah, on the front we have Cappy with the logo, and then we also got the world on the back. Now it's in this little like plastic thing. You can take it out, but I like to keep it in here because here when I got my Zelda Special Edition, I also got this coin as well. Now this wasn't a Best Buy thing. This is something that you can only get in the Special Edition or the Master Edition, and this one actually is kind of sealed. Like it has a little Nintendo sticker right there if you if it wants to focus, which it probably doesn't. But anyway, it has a sticker on it, and it, like that's pretty much sealed. I'm never going to open that one, so I'm never going to open this one either. Well, I, technically, no, I did. I let Kaylin play with it. But, yeah, like, these are really cool. So they're sitting on my shelf next to each other, and I'm hoping that more games do little gold coins like this. So if there's any more out there, please let me know. And that's essentially everything that I picked up. So let me know in the comments, what do you think is the coolest thing that I picked up all month? Personally, I think that the Crash Bandicoot is the coolest thing that's that, that's a personal bias because i love crash bandicoot more than anything but with that being said what do you think is the coolest thing oh yeah i forgot to mention best buy was giving away these posters so i honestly need to find a spot for this i have like no room for it at all but hey this looks really great and i'm getting the poster of mario odyssey from best buy not best buy from a uh, gamestop because a girl i know works there and she hooks me up sometimes but uh yeah i'm gonna get that poster i'm gonna hang that on my door so fucking rad anyway now that's everything i picked up so let me know in the comments what, what you think is the coolest thing and if you're new and you like what you saw you know what to do yada 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 check out my instagram because i do post my pickups sometimes i'm trying to get better at that but i just forget sometimes so i just get excited and i just don't like taking pictures much anymore but anyway uh follow me on instagram and my twitter's down there as well so if you want to chat with me by all means tweet at me but that's everything i picked up i gotta clean up this mess because there's a lot and yeah i guess i'll see you on the next one Peace, peace.